Let's talk about using subclips. Previously, I showed you how you could duplicate a clip and then define in and out points, but there's actually a better way to manage video, especially when you have a master video and you might want to take multiple pieces out of that video. This is known as creating a subclip. You basically create a subsection by marking in and out points and then you convert it into a subclip. So let's take a look at how we can do this in Premiere. Here I have a video clip that is about 50 seconds long. And I'm going to go ahead and mark some in and out points because I only want to keep a specific part of this video. So I will scrub to the section where I want to start the clip and I'll mark an in point by clicking I. Then I'll scrub down in the timeline a little bit until I want to set my out point. And we'll just do that right here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go into clip, make subclip, or the keyboard shortcut is command U. When we do this, you'll have the option to name the subclip. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to call this whale shark close and we'll leave the subclip at the end. And you'll notice there is an option to restrict trims to subclip boundaries. I'm going to uncheck this, which is my preferred way of creating subclips. I'll explain what this means in just a moment. I'm going to click OK. And as you can see, I now have a new element in my bin. And just to keep things organized, I'm going to go ahead and right click. And I'll make a new bin in here. And we'll just call this subclips. And I'm going to drag my subclip into the subclip bin. Now I still have the master clip loaded. And if we go into the subclip and load the subclip, you'll see that here's the subclip. The total duration of this clip is just under six seconds. So this particular clip is defined by those in and out points. We don't see any of the extra material. Let's switch back to the original video file, the master clip, and I'm going to right click on one of my in and out points and just clear the in and out points. And then we'll scrub through the timeline and we'll find a new area where we want to mark an endpoint. And then I will just move my playback head a little bit down the way and we'll go ahead and mark an out point. And once again, I'm going to go ahead and create a sub clip. This time I will use my keyboard shortcut of command or control U and we're going to call this whale shark with remora and we'll go ahead and name it dot sub clip. The name is not particularly important, but I like to identify my subclips as subclips. So I'll just go ahead and click this. This time I'm going to click restrict trims to subclip boundaries and we'll click OK. So as you can see, we have two subclips and this time the subclip is automatically placed in my subclip bin because that bin happened to be open. So let's go ahead and let's create a sequence with these two clips. I will simply grab both of these clips and drag them to the timeline, which in turn is going to generate a new sequence. As you can see, the clips have been placed here and we can scrub through the timeline and view the clips. And visually, I did want to show you that one of the clips has little triangles in the right and left corners. This is the one where we had checked the restrict to subclip boundaries. So what that means exactly is once you place a file inside of your timeline, it is possible if you set in and out points to extend the in and out points on the timeline. So I might just decide maybe I want to do some sort of cross dissolve or maybe I just want a little bit more of the clip to play. If I position my mouse on the edge of this clip, I can click, hold and drag. And as long as some handle exists. Handle is what we call the material that is outside of the boundaries of our in and out points. As long as handle exists, we can extend and increase the duration or decrease the duration of that particular clip. You can see in my program monitor that as I move the out point, it's going to show me where that new out point might be. If I try to do the exact same thing, on the second clip, the one where we decided to restrict the trims, 
you can see that I'm not able to do that. I can't grab and extend the clip and make it longer. So I have no access to that handle material. I find this to be a little bit restrictive. I like the flexibility of being able to adjust my subclip if necessary. If you have clicked that, it's easy enough to switch it. All you need to do is find the clip in your project window. And if we right click, we'll have the option to edit our subclip. And in the edit subclip dialog box, we can make some changes. One of the things that I'm going to do is I'm going to uncheck restrict trims to subclip boundaries. And if you keep an eye on my timeline, as soon as I click OK, you'll see that those little triangles have disappeared. And now I can extend this clip out and in essence change where the in and out points are. When you're using a master clip and if it's a, a longer clip, this is especially true with interviews or something where you're just filming a long take there's a good chance that you might want to grab certain chunks of that clip and use them in your project, but not the entire clip. You can easily do that by defining the in and out points and then turning that into a sub clip. It in essence makes its own little self-contained clip that you can then use in your projects. Creating sub clips is a really great way to parcel out those smaller sections of clips to organize everything in a way that makes sense for you in preparation for your editing.